Hey y'all, Mr. Tim's here. Um, this video is going to be on my John Deere 584 that I have. <clears throat> and the specific attachment I'm going to go over today is my um, 25 gallon sprayer that I have. Um, so I'm going I'm to get it out and I'm going to just show you how it hooks up and, and then how, it, how I've got it here. There's my sprayer. I keep it just kind of um, tucked up under the shelter here for winter. Um, I'll make sure it's drained out. It's got a drain plug on it, and I'll go over all this stuff. But that's where I keep it, just out of the way. The motor's up on top, just so it stays out of the elements. Um, and then I can park my four-wheeler and stuff under the shelter as well. But I like to keep it um, kind of back there and separate. <clears throat> I'm going to get out there. I'm going to cut the grass, and then I'll put on the... Um, cut the weeds I should say and then and put on the attachment and I'll go over and show you how it attaches to the back how it hooks up to the power cord that I've got there um, and so this is what I'm faced with is this time of year um, I start to get a lot of onions and I'm trying to fight back a crop of sand spurs in the yard <clears throat> and I, you know it just if I get on it and go ahead and start spraying it early before it gets they, they get real big and start making um, little pods and the, the actual spurs I, I, I do a lot better because uh, as you can see I got play stuff in the yard and, and we like to walk barefoot around here so um, I, I like to keep it sprayed and, and my 584 comboed with that 25 gallon sprayer does it so does a good job so I'll get the we'll uh, get the um, let's get the onions mowed and the weeds mowed and we'll get back on you all right so um, if you're not familiar with the five, John Deere 584, um, what the four means is we've got four wheel steer. And I'll, I'll show you uh, how that goes. My particular model here, it's gonna have uh, the, the hydraulic or the automatic lift up and down, um, lock and deer differential in the rear end so you can use ground engaging um, devices like plows and stuff. That's gonna be my next uh, video. Uh, I got the 24 horse uh, Kawasaki, and it's got this has got the bigger motor. It's got the 54 um, inch um, here. So, um, like everything about it, it's got the high back seat on it, a little bit bigger than I'm sitting on. So it sits up really high. Um, but it um, <clears throat> so one thing I like to do is carry one of these little grabber devices here. I just leave that guy sitting right back here. If you can see under the seat there, along with the there's the switch for the uh, the sprayer. So I'm just going to go out here and cut the onions here. Okay, so when the dealership, the equipment place um, I ordered the tractor from, I went ahead and ordered this, the, the sprayer with it. So they went ahead and installed this bracket on here. Um, and this can be taken off with these pins. Um, they've got it shimmed out to the, the, to the right level with these washers. Um, but if you just leave this on here, it's not gonna, um, not gonna really get in the way. Um, uh, when you're just using the sprayer now you might if you want to use a sleeve hitch or something like that um, and you're going to use these other side um, parts here to connect that you might have to get this out of the way but um, using the ball and the pin and and that hitch right there is just fine not really getting in the way so I'm gonna go grab the um, the sprayer and I'll show you how it, it sets in okay so it's not the fact that, that this is real heavy um, it's just kind of cumbersome so how it works is bring, bring this up here that bar goes down locks down there um, that's how it sits so now over here I like to keep in my toolbox I like to go ahead and keep um, the pen and a beer holder uh, and the wrench and I'll show you just makes it real convenient that way I can come down here. I'll have all this ready to rock. 
Let's get this lined up. Kind of move it around a little bit. Work on get this lined up there. Let's get the pin down. And then there's four bolts that we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up. And these this keep the um the sprayer from jumping around. And that's why I just I went ahead and dedicated this wrench to that. Same thing over here. Okay, so I've got these tightened up now. It's all it's all on there. Uh, that bottom pin's in. The uh, that kind of rests down there on that plate. The bottom does, and then this one sits in the hook here. Now they've got this sleeve, um, and this is adjustable. And you can see where I've tried to have it tightened up here. But when you fill this guy up with 25 gallons of water um, and start spraying it it's it usually falls back down to this spot and I've tried to keep it blocked up with um, um, washers and all that tried to keep because what it does is it affects the angle uh, where the sprayers are back here so um, but I've just kind of come to leaving it down there I've got my spray booms pulled up a little bit more here, if you can see that they're kind of bent up a little bit and if anybody's got any comment on on how to combat that let let me know um, I'll go over to the parts of the sprayer here in just a second all right and um, like I said the dealership they already wired this in for me so I'm going to connect that up here's my on and off switch up here which I showed earlier um, and all right that's where that's what we got here so I'll start with the boom. On the boom, there are three different nozzles. Um, the nozzles will, like standard, they will come apart. Uh, let me see, this one's got a little dirt in it here in crud. I'm gonna make sure that that's spraying good. Um, before I start putting chemical in it, I'll, I might put a little water in there and spray that, see how it goes. Um, so that's the boom. I talked about earlier how I like to keep it angled up, but. I just take that into account with this one because this one doesn't really fan out as much. The higher you have them, the more they fan out, the more area you can cover. But I've just kind of learned to work around it. Here's the drain on this side. For storing it. The, the lid's very nice. Um, nice big lid. Down inside here, we can see there's a filter on the end there. There's a little bit of trash down in there if I can get my focus back um, but I like how big the uh, it is on it the pump on it 2.1 gallons a minute 12 volt um, here is different switches this is a recirculation switch so when you're filling it up you can turn this guy on it'll recirculate inside here and mix your um, See right there, it dumps back in there, and it'll help recirculate your um, your product that you're mixing. Down here is, of course, the switch for um, your boom on and off. So if you want your boom going, or if you just want to use your handheld, which is conveniently wrapped up here, I do like using that uh, for going around and spraying in flower beds and stuff like that it's your it's your standard um kind of wand that's got a lock on it if you want to just continual spray it's got a nice um metal end for taking it off and cleaning it make sure it's uh doesn't get all gunked up there but uh i like that okay so now i've got it over here next to the water hose uh, i got the water going in and let's just uh i'll turn it on 
without the lawnmower run so you can hear it. I, I don't suggest that because it drains down the batteries pretty fast, but for the video, it will. And we'll make sure everything is uh, flowing. Okay, so that, that sprayer is working good. Pretty clean. Let's turn it so I can get the right angle. Just spraying out here. Middle one looks good, and the side one looks good. So you can see now, I'm getting coverage, getting coverage in here all the way through here, and even in here, which is in between those two. If you want to see your coverage uh, back up over a piece of uh, concrete or something and, and go slow, and it'll show you your coverage. So that looks good. If I wanted to turn that boom off, I could turn it off right there. See when the the pump will um, it's not the it's not calling for water, so the pump's not pumping. Let's test this guy out. Everything looks nice and good there. You can see the kind of throw that I have on that. I mean, let's see here. That's very powerful. This is all just straight water right now. I just kind of clean out everything. I haven't used this since the late fall so I just want to make sure I use uh, I use this guy for pesticides I use it for um, um, weed killer and fertilizer so a lot of it gets a lot of use so as I'm filling up from water here um, I got my, my mixture I can see my level on this side there is a, um, a gauge around here that that tells you how many gallons I, I got 15 gallons in there right now I'm gonna go ahead and get my my chemical I'm gonna use some try make from uh, it's from I get it from tractor supply so uh, buy that by in bulk makes a bunch um, make sure you get something you can measure in heavy volumes here um, you can see I got a little try make left over from last time I used it so um, and then do your calculations according to whatever you're using but you need something you need something you can measure big in Measure big quantities. All right, so I've got uh, got my chemicals in there. I'm gonna turn on this recirculation. See, that's gonna help. It's gonna help mix all that up until I get up to the 25 gallon point, which I'm close. That'll help everything mix it up. And I like to I like to take my hose and. <laughs> It up myself, man, you know, a little bit there, but that it'll Good reach. thing got all the uh, chemical out of it 
I'm gonna wash down, spray down. Um, I'm, I always like to um, run some clean water through this so the um, tips don't gum up. And uh, I'll just back over here into this. I got this drain here. I'll just turn it on, crank the motor up, and flush it all out. Uh, just you know, several gallons of water here. Good idea, just so your your tips don't gel up and gum up. And next time you'll be able to come out and use the equipment instead of fight with it. Well, so I sprayed my my yard. I uh, went around and spot tray spot sprayed with uh, the hand sprayer, which I like doing. Uh, I like focusing on areas that need a lot of uh, extra attention with that. Other than that, I'd like to do the broadcasting with the boom. Um, spot sprayer is great. Um, if I was going to round up around big fences or something, yeah, you saw in the one part of the video where I was riding and just spraying. I mean, it's super convenient. You can back up. You can go for it. It doesn't matter. You can turn those tight turns. Um, and, you know, uh, you can't do that with a trailer sprayer, which I've had before, uh, which I've used and, and just... Uh, it gets a little hairy and, and being able to back up is just huge because you, you don't spend your time fighting the, the trailer. One thing I wanted to mention is, is um, I have the ability on the 584 to put weights. That's a, right here is a weight bumper, um, weight bracket. I don't, um, I don't um, need it. The guy, he, he suggests it in the book, um, but I found, uh, he, you know, it was just fine. The, I didn't have any problems. Of course, I'm not gagging the the motor or, or, or locking the wheels down and making it pop up in the air. But um, I've been very pleased um, with with this product, the quality of it, and um, and I hope it uh, will continue for for many days to come. If y'all got any questions or comments, please give me a post. Um, there's going to be more on my 584 uh, coming up um, with some plows, integral hitches. Um, sleeve hitches, um, different things. So I've actually got it in the box here, and that's the next project. So y'all give me a shout. Thank you.